I just made that up and I feel like it would be the perfect name for a nail polish in this color. I loved it. This is my comfort zone right here. This is my go-to. You're the Michelin man who's like really, really stuffed, you know what I mean? So Welcome back to Alleyways, or if it's your first time here, welcome to my channel. Thank you so much for taking the time to watch this video. And if you haven't already, please, please, please make sure to join the Alleyways family. Subscribe to my channel, give this video a big thumbs up, and turn on post notifications, not only so you know when I have new content, but also so I can include you in my subscriber shout out. I am going to be shouting out some very special subscribers at the end of today's video, so make sure you stay tuned until the end in case that's you. Okay, we are back today with another Amazon clothing haul. Today I'm showing items from Luva Mia store. They have so many things to choose from, so many great items, and I'm stoked on the things that I got. I got things with everyone in mind, whether you need things for work, things that are a little bit more trendy, casual, comfy. I really tried to shop um, with just like diversity of need in mind and I'm so excited. So let's not wait anymore. Let's go ahead and jump right in. All right, so straight out of the gate, I wanted to start with this yellow blazer. Now I am somebody who use blazers a lot. I use them in auditions or if I have work meetings, I love the feel of menswear and just like a great clean blazer. And I've always worn my black one a lot. And recently I wanted to just have more fun with the look. So I got a couple colors and I thought this one was really kind of just wild and different. You could do a lot to mute this down. It'd be cool to do a monochromatic look, but I just tried to go super classic. I paired it with a really fitted dark jean and white tee for a little bit more, like I said, casual and relaxed, but this is a great, great blazer. I'm gonna come up close so y'all can see. It does have like the notched lapel, a really nice dramatic one. It does have very minimal shoulder padding, nice long sleeves, and it's fully lined with like a nice kind of slick polyester material, which is so great because it means it's not going to fight your layers. It's so slick that any kind of layer underneath is just going to slide right in. I saw this meme earlier today that showed like the diagram of what's happening underneath a sleeve in the winter where like a long sleeve shirt just bunched up and it said the ultimate feeling of discomfort and I couldn't agree more. So that's why I always love when um, blazers and jackets have a slick liner. It does have two really nice functional pockets. They are not um, sewn shut, which I realize you could probably always pick, but I do like to point that out. They are open and it's got a nice longer length. So it does give some bum coverage for our bum coverage crew out there. And I like it just like this, but something I always do to my blazers just to make them feel a little bit, I don't know, more stylish, at least to me, cuff the sleeve. I just like to cuff it back um, once or twice. So it hits about the middle of my forearm and to me that just I don't know I like that look a lot more I'm just showing you a side by side something about that seems more chic to me and then especially pairing it with a great watch um, and or minimalist jewelry I think it's just such a look so straight out the gate I love this it does have one button right here that I'll button and show you all it's a fabric um, covered button in the same color which is just really nice minimal distraction good piece to have in your wardrobe if you are somebody who's looking to bring some color and sunshine to your office or more formal workwear. Let's move on to our next piece. All right, next up, I just wanted to have a point of comparison and do these blazers back to back. Obviously that really true goldenrod yellow, it was represented well on the website. It came in true to what the color was in the swatch online. And that is a bold choice. Like I said, I wanted something fun and different, but there's always something to be said for a classic blue. I'm gonna come up close so y'all can see. This is a really, really nice, just true navy. And having a navy blazer in your closet is such a staple. I've used my black one time and time again, and I haven't had a navy one, but there's been a lot of times when I wish I would have. And that's why when I saw that they had these, I snatched it up. Um, this one is just a bit different. It does not have a lapel, as you can see, which gives it a little bit more of a casual vibe. It does have very slight padding in the shoulder. Again, it's got nice long sleeves, and this one is actually a bit longer. So this is actually hitting mid thigh. 
Um, and it, instead of having a button, it has a hook and eye that just is hidden when you clasp it. So a really nice kind of subtle touch. This one does have pockets that are hidden. So where there is this seam here along the side that you can see, they've just hidden a pocket right in there, which you guys know how much I love pockets. And this is the shot for the bum coverage crew. Got plenty of bum coverage, totally covers the bum in the back, which is nice when you're working. You don't want to have to worry about pants slipping and sliding. I know that's just, you know, a, a feeling that makes people feel a little bit more covered. Sorry, that was my grandma's phone going off. Um, Nan, people are blowing you up over there. <laughs> she doesn't deny it. She's getting those text messages. Again, I'm just going to roll the sleeves up and um, I like that look. What do you think, Nan? Do you like the sleeves rolled or down? Nan likes them rolled too. Y'all vote in the comments. Do you agree with me and Nan? Rolled up or long? I just think that adds something that's a little bit interesting and different. Again, I paired it with just this t-shirt and jeans. Um, relaxed, casual. It would look great with like a little pair of casual heels or flats, but you could make this a lot dressier than I have. But this is something I know I'm going to get a lot of wear out of. And it was a really, really great price. The last time I shopped with Luvamia, their quality was really impressive when I first got it in. And it's washed well. I haven't had it for that long, but so far I haven't had a lot of aging um, as I've laundered my clothes with them, which is always good to know. All right, we're going to do a few more pieces of outerwear. And then I did get some two-piece sets that I'm really excited about. But as you all know, if you have been here for a while, I am like every other basic person in the world who loves fall. And one of the reasons that I love fall is because I love sweaters. I just love the feel of having a great, especially cardigan. Layers where I live are so important because it'll be really chilly in the morning and the evening, but it'll get hot in the afternoon. So pieces like this are so crucial to have in my wardrobe. I saw this on the website and I just fell in love with the color. It is kind of like a vibrant celery. I just made that up and I feel like it would be the perfect name for a nail polish in this color um, or an eyeshadow. I always thought it'd be fun to be one of the people that gets to name those things. Um, but yes, vibrant celery color, and it was just really comfortable and basic. I need things like this just to keep in my car or in my office, or if I get chilly, to have something loose and comfortable to throw on. It is an oversized fit, so I actually just ordered it in a medium, which is usually what I order everything in. Um, and I'm glad that it does have some kind of motion and, and flowiness to it. I'm gonna come up close so y'all can, again, see the color, but also see the detail in the knit. They've got these really nice rows of holes here that just add some interest and a little something different to the design. Then also on the side, you can see it has a notch. And pocket gang, we are in luck. It has some great pockets with a tighter knit, so it's gonna hold on to your things better. It's long in the back, giving us plenty of coverage, and it's really soft. It's not itchy, it's not uncomfortable, it's just really, really soft and cozy, and I absolutely love it. I think the color is beautiful, and I know realistically this is something that I'm going to use on a weekly basis, and I like to have those things in my closet. I have another cardigan um, that I'm gonna put on now. All right, next up we have another cardigan. Again, the first thing that caught my eye about this was the color. Obviously, I was just feeling yellow the day that I was shopping these looks. And I thought this was a really gorgeous golden color that reminded me of autumn and the changing leaves. But this one has a little bit more elaborate of a knit. It has pockets on the front and then these really cool kind of vintage looking I'm gonna get it where y'all can see it. I, I wanna say it's like a leathery, tortoisey kind of look to the buttons. It's a little bit more fitted in the arms and in the body. If I button this up, it has a little more shape. So if you're somebody who doesn't like things that are too flowy, this might be a better option for you. But it does have the length and the comfort. Again, not itchy, really soft, a beautiful color. And as you've noticed, I've just paired all of these with a white t-shirt and jeans. Such a simple look. All of these are great staples to have in your wardrobe. And rotating through these, you've got a bunch of different outfits just by changing one jacket, which is so simple and easy. Um, 
but I love this. Feels really quality, warm, cozy, nice, beautiful, saturated color in person that was really true to what was on the website. All of the sizing on their website also um, is really accurate, so I give them an A in that department. And shipping is quick. So they are on Amazon, so it's always nice here. You can track your orders and the prices are affordable. It's another added bonus of shopping with them, but I love this and I know that this is something that, again, I'm going to wear a lot. Next up, we have this winter coat. So I never have had a short puffy coat. A couple years ago, my mom got me a really great long one from Fabletics, which I love. And so I've always wanted a short puffer since then. I call them puffers. Um, and I saw this one and I just thought it had a really cool kind of classy look. I'll come up so y'all can see. Um, you can see it's stuffed with down and has this cool kind of uh, horizontal um, pattern to it and then what I really liked was that against the black they had this chocolate brown piping and then the gold hardware with a great zipper and as you can see that's repeated in these two pockets here that they have um, and I was gonna show you all one of my favorite things is this faux fur collar and then it has these snaps here where you could really really <laughs> let's see get the collar up high around your neck and ears and keep you so warm. But I really liked that it had this that does actually feel so warm and soft and cozy. It is nice and slick. Um, it's full without feeling like you're the Michelin man who's like really, really stuffed, you know what I mean? So it's comfortable. It is really light because I guess it's stuffed with down so it's not too heavy on winter coat. Um, which is nice because you're having to cart it around, but it still keeps you plenty warm. The sleeves are nice and really long. It is a little bit more cropped in the back, as you can see, uh, but it was a great price for a winter coat. The season is about to be upon us where everybody needs one. I think it's a nice gift idea to get somebody a nice winter coat. And a lot of times they can be really expensive, but I was impressed with the price on this one. And now that I have it in person, I'm really impressed with the, the look and the quality as well. So that is a win. I love having just a great looking, affordable coat for winter. All right, next up we have another piece of outerwear for people that are looking for something a little bit more trendy, a little edgier. So this style of jacket, I don't know when it originated, but it feels like a vintage style to me. It's a classic denim with a shearling lined collar. Um, I've seen these for years. I've seen these I really think since I was young, um, at least in like western films and things like that. And I've always really wanted one. I thought they were really cool but I've never had one and I saw this one on their website and loved it. I love the wash of the denim as you can see. It's really light with distressing kind of down the center panel. It has two functional pockets here and here which is just dead useful. And then something that I loved about it is that the sleeves are not lined with shearling. They do have a button so if you wanted to roll these you could but actually the front panel, the back and the collar, I'll show you, are all lined with shearling, which means it's going to be really easy if you're wearing a sweater to get your sleeve through the sleeve of the jacket um, and not have to fight it, but you'll still have the warmth around your trunk. Uh, so I thought that was a really cool, interesting touch and I just loved the look. Just to make it like a little casual and trendier, I just threw on a pair of gray sweatpants with this. But there are endless ways you could style this. It's comfortable, it's chic, has like a cool western vintage feel. So I'm excited to try different styles with it. Um, let me know how you would style it in the comments down below. I know we have some fashionistas who have been so helpful in giving me tips and I always love and appreciate that. And the other thing I always want to know is which piece is your favorite? I just asked my grandma who's helping me and she said so far she likes the green sweater and I think that's a good pick. I haven't decided yet but you guys always help me so let me know which is your favorite as well in the comments down below. All right now we are going to be moving on to our two-piece sets. I love two-piece sets because it's minimal effort, styling, and planning. They go together, they're meant to go together, and now they're being designed to be so cute and comfortable. I saw this one and I thought it looked so sweet. So I'll come up close so y'all can see. It's a really soft kind of creamy loose knit sweatshirt and sweater short set. Um, it's a tiny, tiny bit sheer, 
Uh, so I would recommend definitely doing flesh tone undergarments, but it's soft and it's comfy. It's not scratchy or itchy. It has just kind of the slightest v-neck and long kind of, you can see, billowy sleeves. The shorts don't have pockets, but they do have a functional drawstring, which is nice. I have them pulled up high, so they're hitting about mid-thigh, but you could pull them down lower if you wanted some more length, but they're not overly short. I know I get a lot of comments um, asking about that. So it's nice that if you want them a little shorter, you can pull them up higher. If you want them a bit longer, you can wear them lower on your hips. I also like that the sweater is a bit longer. So it's not cropped. I know some people comment, everything is cropped nowadays. But this is a full length sweater, but if you wanted that kind of cropped look, I think it's always cute just to tuck a sweater like this that's full length into your shorts like so and then just blouse it out like this and it almost kind of looks like a romper then it is just i don't know it, it's cute and comfy and cozy and i work from home a lot of days uh, working on personal projects editing um, shooting content and i love being comfortable but still feeling like i put effort in and that is what outfits like these are great for. They do have this in other color options as well and I like it so much that I'll probably have to get on and look at what the color options were again. I think they had a blue and a pink. Um, I'm not sure but I'll probably end up with both of those. All right next up on our two piece sets this one is even cozier than the last. I'll come up close first so y'all can see it's a true dusty rose. I love this color. If I get pink it seems like I always get things in this pink color. It's just softer a little bit more neutral and i love that i love this micro kind of thermal i love this sleeve here it does have high waisted it's almost like a legging i want to say it's a jogger because it's fitted around the ankle but they're fitted all the way down kind of more like a legging which almost makes this look like a pajama set but i think if i threw on tennis shoes with this and wore this out it could pass as just a two-piece set, or if you wanted to wear as pajamas, you could. Um, yeah, functional drawstring, high-waisted. The pants have a really cool micro ribbing. So there's actually two different textures, which I like. That makes it a little bit interesting. It is really warm, soft, and comfy. Again, a full-length sweatshirt. For the people in the fam, they're tired of everything being cropped. I love this. I think it's really cute, fitted, different. And again, these are the things that I wear on a day-to-day -day basis. I also think this would be a great gift for the, the lady in your life, the person who could rock this look because it is so useful. And pieces like this, again, are great for mixing and matching. So something like this, if I wanted to dress it up a little, throw on jeans with it, a pair of trousers. This is just a great basic top. And then these are fun sweats and a really nice color. If you're somebody like me who doesn't wear a ton of color, who normally gravitates towards black but needs to start pushing themselves to incorporate more color in their wardrobe, I suggest this is a good place to start because it is more of an earth tone, neutral, soft color. So a good way to like dip your toe into shades that aren't just black. All right, and last of our two piece sets. We had to go all black. I mean, we had to, didn't we? I saw this one and I loved it. This is my comfort zone right here. This is my go-to. This is me if I were clothing. So I saw this two-piece set and I love that they sell these as a two-in-one. These aren't separate. You don't have to purchase them separately. They come together and they're an incredible price. That just is such a high when you're shopping. And I saw this set and I loved it. Again, I love the seam and the sleeve right here. Makes it so much more comfortable. It doesn't feel tight. I don't know if y'all can see. I'm gonna try and get close so you can see. It does have a front pocket. Who doesn't love a frocket? Let's be honest. It has a little band along the bottom that just cinches it in a tiny bit, but it's not a tight elastic. I don't really like to have a tight elastic that creates billowing. I like to, if I want that, to just be able to tuck the shirt in and billow it myself. So I thought that was nice. And then I really liked this added touch with the cream drawstring and then the silver metal aglet on the end. To me, that just always makes things feel a bit nicer, a little bit more elevated. Everything feels really soft on. These pants have pockets and it's a true jogger. So you can see it is cinched around the waist. Um, 
This feels like a cotton blend. It's nice and comfy. And again, these are gonna be great separates. And I probably wear my black joggers that I currently have more than anything else that I own. <laughs> um, and I haven't bought any of those as a matching set. And so now this will probably be the outfit I wear most in my closet. If I'm being honest with you all, especially as we head into fall. Just a great price, great quality, simple pieces that I can mix and match and are comfortable for day-to-day -day living. I love this. Am I gonna say it's my favorite? I don't know. Nan, is this your favorite? Are you still like the green sweater best? Green sweater still wins for Nan. But this has gotta be up there for me, but we do have one thing left. So let's go put that on and then you guys can decide. All right fam, last but certainly not least, we have this tie-dye sweatshirt. So I saw this and I'm just wearing it with the joggers in the last outfit, but honestly, I thought this would probably look cutest with biker shorts. Tie-dye and biker shorts have both been huge trends the last couple years and together we've seen them paired non-stop. I thought this one was really cool and different and it reminded me of a lot of things I've seen that were influenced by street style. Um, I liked that it was really bold and loud because I traditionally go for really subtle tie-dye, um, but I wanted to get this one to be adventurous and try something different. I am going to pair it with some biker shorts and chunky white tennis shoes and some slim sunglasses. I'll probably post that on my Instagram, so keep your eyes peeled for it there. Um, but it's a comfortable sweatshirt. It's not traditional sweatshirt material. It's actually pretty slick on the outside and feels almost like a cotton and dry fit blend. And then the inside, what's against your skin, is a soft fabric, but still, once again, it's not traditional sweatshirt material, so it's not as warm or as hot as a sweatshirt would be, which for me is actually nice because um, it's still hot in Nashville, and I'm ready to wear things like this because they're seasonally appropriate, but they're also gonna help us just get through, you know, the dog days of summer. Now that I'm looking at this, I'm thinking about cropping it off. If I do that, I'll post it on Instagram. Let me know if you guys think I should. Let me know which is your favorite. As always, links and sizes will be in the description box down below. But with that, we are done, so let's go sign off. Okay fam, that is it for today's video. Thank you all so much for taking the time to watch. As always, a special thank you to my live chat crew who is here with me. Live chat crew, I love you all so much. I'm so excited about how our live chat crew is growing. Um, if you don't know what the live chat crew is, every Wednesday and Sunday at 8 p.m. Central, I do premieres of my videos and I am always here chatting. We have an incredible community, so if you're looking for kindness and friendship, please join us. It is an incredible group, Live Chat Crew. I love you all so much. I also want to give a big shout out to Chanel Lockwood. Chanel, you commented on some of my recent Pink Lily Boutique hauls and were so sweet. And I'm just really excited to connect with you. It seems like we have a lot of common interests and similar taste, and I'm so glad that you're here. I also want to shout out my grandmother, who is here with me now. She is the newest assistant on the Alleyways team. Um, she recently moved to Nashville and has been helping with my videos and is now a subscriber to my channel after a pretty long time. We finally got her on board. <laughs> Thank you to Luba Mia for partnering with me. Like I said, links and any discounts will be in the description box down below. If you have any questions, please let me know. But for now, that is it. I love you and I can't wait to see you next time right here on Alleyways. Bye.